Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today's topic is going to be about anxiety. Welcome back to my channel. For those who don't know, my name is Omolade Okaito. So I'm going to talk about anxiety and I think during this lockdown it's been tough like it has been tough for a lot of us and when I'm speaking to people when I'm speaking to people just around me you know I hear like you know I hear the same thing like it's mentally draining it's been really tough it's been hard you know lots of things and you know I will start with me I will definitely start with me so <laughs> Like for me, to me it was a bit embarrassing like that I went through this, like I'm sorry to say but because I had never gone through this before, I was like what is happening? So I, was it, I think maybe a few weeks ago, I, I didn't know what was going on but what happened was I basically, a thought came into my mind and then I started to become very obsessed with that thought and then I started to overthink a lot about that thought and then my mind just went from here to here and I was just like I don't know what is going on with me like I was like why am I overthinking why am I being obsessed with this thought like why you know why am I thinking the worst for everyone around me everything around me um, it was just such a scary thing and I was living in fear so I started to like be really fearful about everything and I was just like what is going on and of course coronavirus slash COVID-19 that's not helping the situation because a lot of the times we're hearing negative news you know there's lots of people who are dying it's been such and it's just been a, a huge traumatic experience for a lot of us for a lot of people so that paid that played a major part on the anxiety and I just remember like thinking what is going on like I don't know what this is I've never experienced this before and I was just like I'm a Christian like I know that you know I'm a child of God like do 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 I'm reading I read the word like all of these things I was like how can this be happening to me how can I be going through anxiety and I just didn't know how to explain it like I remember sitting down with my sister and I was like I don't know what's going on and and then she was just like I think you're going through because she's a social worker so she I guess she's done a bit more studies on certain things like this and so she was like I think you're going through anxiety and fear and this is a this is a common thing that goes that happens to a lot of people it's just how you you're gonna how you choose to deal with it and like you know she was just being really like a good listening ear I'm trying to be so careful guys because I know it's such a sensitive subject and I just don't want to offend anyone because I know that this is like a thing but I can I'm only going to speak from my experience and I when she sat me down and was like yeah that's what you're going for and I was like oh gosh like you know it was just I just felt like what did I do or like how can this be you know did I what, you know you know when you're just trying to think about like what happened like what did I do like because it was just like you know I'm a Christian I do this I do that like you know you put like a lot of um I guess you put like a lot of perfectionist stuff on yourself and you're you're you're, you're thinking because I do this because I do that and da, 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 like why should this happen to me like why should I go through this and do you get what I mean and that that, that was the type of things that was going through so I was just like oh man like, I'm gonna need to speak to my close friends about this because I need to find out what is like I, I just felt like it was a really good release system for me because I like to express myself through speaking and you know I was just like okay let me speak to some of my close friends about this so I spoke to I was very selective who I spoke to about it I have at least three three or four of my friends who are psychologists but they're Christians so to me it was a like perfect combination it was just perfect combination so when I did speak to them about it they were really giving me some good advice, like really good advice. I think, you know, one of the things was because I really like to go gym a lot, like gym is a really good releasing system and it really helps. I'm not, I'm more talking about the physical side. I'm gonna get- Right, so pause there. There's some things I just wanted to address. So like with the physical side, I really think that there's so much to it and the, the combination really works together. So like I mentioned about gym, 
people it helps when they take walks it helps when they talk to people it helps when they um listen to meditation apps there's one called abide which um and calm but abide is a christian meditation app as well so i really do think that as christians sometimes we tend to ignore our mental health we tend to ignore it a lot and it's just something that I really wanted to address. I'm going to get to the spiritual side um, and gym is like a really good release system and it just really helps and it really supports with like your mind. I think it releases like some happy thing inside of you. That's how I'm going to describe it. So what, one of them was giving that advice and then she also backed it up with the word. But obviously in Philippians it speaks about anxiety. I will definitely put the the scripture but it speaks about anxiety in prayer gratitude supplication that god will give you peace beyond your understanding sorry if i haven't said it word for word but i will put it down here so i kept holding on to that verse and then she was just letting me know like you know the word is the weapon and you know finding verses about you know anxiety and fear is a really good way to tackle this problem as well I spoke to another friend as well and she was just like you know stop overthinking stop you know just stop overthinking and I was just like oh okay cool and I kept that in my head and then I asked her again because obviously I'm like mm, you, you know so I want to know a bit more so she gave me some resources like some psychology resources just for me to understand the real meaning of anxiety and what that means it, especially if you haven't gone through that when you're trying to figure out what it is it's really good to do research as well but from good resources as well so i did that and then that really helped like that just really helped me to understand the meaning of it and like what the symptoms are and stuff and like i'm quite a curious person anyway like i like to educate myself i like to research i like to do all of those things so i did that and that helped then in terms of myself and what I decided to do for myself was I started to on the Bible app there were really good anxiety and fear plans that you can do where there's a devotion on it you can read the devotion and then there's scriptures about anxiety and fear so I started to read those scriptures read those devotions it had practical tips and it really started to help me as well so if the thought came if a negative thought came or if the anxiety came I would use the word of God against it saying like if the devil wanted to try and bring negative thoughts in my head I'll be like Satan like I know you are a liar and you are an accuser do you get so these were the type of things that I would do and I'll be angry like when I do I'll be really angry and aggressive about it as well and then I started to pray as well I started to pray a lot like and guys this really tested my relationship with God because when you're going through anxiety and fear all you can really lean on is God like literally at the time because obviously I'm a Christian it's my personal faith and I for me it was like God I am leading on you I'm depending on you I can't sort this situation on my own I can't do this with my own strength I just really need you to help me and it felt like a really lonely journey like it felt like I was the only one going through it. It really felt. And then I spoke to another friend who actually went through it. And she was just like, I know exactly what you're talking about. And just to speak to somebody who knows exactly what it, what it feels to, what it's like to go through it, just really helped as well. Because it just really helped that, oh my gosh, okay, I'm not the only one that's gone through it. And there is people out there who do understand. And I was just like, whoa, like, I said, God, I don't know where, you, where you're taking me or what you want me to learn from this or whatever. But one thing that was also revealed to me was like, I wasn't trusting him enough. I wasn't depending on him enough. I didn't surrender enough. And it took this situation to really be like, God, I surrender to you because I do not want to live. I don't want to live every day living in fear. Then I started to go on YouTube and started to listen to like testimonies about people who have overcome anxiety and fear and things that they did to help them overcome it. Also started reading, I've read this book before, a good few years back called The Battlefield of the Mind by Joyce Mears. Amazing, amazing book and I'm reading it again and it's, it's a really, it's quite a a chunky book and I'm I don't I'm not even like halfway through but I'm reading it and it's it really really just help it's just really been helping me as well through this experience to be honest I I was really ignorant to the subject like I felt I knew that it existed and I knew it was there but I feel like I felt like I was quite ignorant to it until when I went through it and until when I went through it I was like wow this is it's one of the scariest experience that 
that anyone can go through like imagine to be fearful and and anxious it's one of the most scariest things and I remember like saying to my sister I was like I'm like like I think I've gone mad I don't know what's going on and even when I but it's a it's real like it is so real and like my thought and my heart and my mind goes out to those who who go through this or who go, who are going through this every day especially through during this pandemic as well because it, it was definitely a trigger definitely a trigger for me and I felt um, embarrassed I was like oh, I don't know if I want to share this context or this content if I want to share this story or this part of me but I'm listening to you guys and you guys have been saying oh you want you want to know how I've overcome in terms of my spiritual walk with God and I was thinking yeah okay I can give you some of the stuff that I've overcome in the past blah 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 but then I was like something just spoke to me and was like why can't you just sh why can't you share this experience this is a this is a lot of people are going through this especially during this pandemic why can't you share this why can't you let people know that you went through this and I was like, all right then, I'm just gonna do it. So, I'm still overcoming. Well, no, words of affirmation. I'm an overcomer. I'm o I have overcome. It's not easy. It's a. It's been a process. So, like, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna. It's. I'm gonna be okay today or whatever, you know. But I noticed that it's been a step by step process. Um, I've also forgot to add that. And um, there's certain things it helps through fasting and prayer. And I was also fasting as well and I, I will still continue to fast as well so yeah guys I really hope that I've helped and supported somebody out there you know again I'm not a professional if you do need to seek professional advice please see your GP there's some resources online that you can get some help and support <sighs> so yeah I hope this helps somebody make sure you like make sure you comment and support a sister Thank you so much, guys. Until next time.